If you were already the person that could create the success that you want, you would have already had that success. So what we're getting down to is that it's you that needs to change. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to become the person that you need to become in order to create the life that you want. And we're gonna really talk about who you need to be versus what you need to do. And that's how we're gonna to start today, and I want you to realize. Success is about doing things, and whatever success means to you, that's completely different compared, you know, any different person I could walk up to on the street, success means something different to everybody. Whatever success means to you, you're going to have to do things to get that done and to achieve it. But more importantly than actually doing those things is who you need to become in order to be the type of person that could create that life. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to make a guess. If you're sitting here listening to this podcast, or for those of you guys that are on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, or you're watching this video and looking at me, I'm going to make a guess. You're here listening or watching this simply because there's something inside of you that tells you that there's more, that you have more potential to bring out to the world. There's something inside of you that says, hey, life is good, life is okay, but I could be so much better. I can make this so much more amazing. There's so much more that I could do. Whatever that means, I could, I could make more money, I could have more happiness, I could have more peace, I could have more joy, I could have more traveling, I could have more success, I could have more quality relationships. There's a part of you that makes you know deep down inside that you're nowhere near the level that you could be. That's probably why you're listening to this. Am I right? You're trying to level yourself up. You're trying to get to the next level. But I'm going to tell you this, whatever that perfect life is that you want, the reason why you don't have it is because you're not yet the person that can attract that or you're not yet the person that deserves or can create that life. And so what we're going to talk about is how to become that person. First off, figuring out what it is that you want. That's the most important thing. Then figure out who you need to become in order to do that. And then figuring out what you need to do in order to create that life. Because if you already, if you were already the person that could create the success that you want, you know, 10, 20 years down the road, you would have already had that success. If you were the person that could create the life as you currently are, that you want, you would have already had the success in the life and the money and the joy and the peace and the traveling or whatever it is that you want. So what we're getting down to is that it's you that needs to change. And that's a beautiful thing because that puts you in the driver's seat. That puts you full control of your life and where it's going. And that, my friends, is an amazing place to be. It is you that needs to change. But that also means it's nobody outside of you. You can't blame anybody else. You can't blame the government. You can't blame the president or whoever it is that runs your country. You can't blame your family. You can't blame your education. It is you. It will always be you that needs to change to create the life that you want. So if you're not driving and you can grab a pen and paper right now, would be a really good time to grab a pen and paper. The beautiful thing about the way that you guys are listening to me is you can pause me at any time and write anything that you need to down because this will be a time where you can actually if you're driving you can start thinking and, and having the thoughts flow through your head but for those of you guys that can do this you can literally start to write things down and that's what's beautiful so i'm going to take you through an exercise and i want you to get really serious about this exercise and the important thing of this exercise to realize is that the more clear that you can become like crystal 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 clear on every question that i ask the easier it will be to get that because you can make a plan. The more clear your plan, I'm sorry, the more clear your destination, the more clear you can create a plan to get to that destination. So let's talk about it. Think of your perfect life in 10 years. So if you're listening to this at the moment that it comes out, let's say it's 2031. How old are you in 10 years? You know, for me, I would be 45 years old. So if I look and I say, okay, what does the perfect life look for me look like for me, I'm 45 years old at that time, it's 2031, what does that perfect life look like? And I want you to get as detailed as possible. Write it all down, envision it, think about it, whatever it is. What is it that you want 10 years from today? What do you want? What do you want to create? What do you want, you know, what does your life look like? How happy are you? What else is going on in your life? Do you have beautiful relationships? Do you have children? Do you have uh, a beautiful house? Where do you live? 
What does your family look like? Uh, what do your relationships look like? Success in life look like? What does your life look like in order to create the life that you want? What is it? What is it? I mean, get as detailed as you possibly can. The house, do you have multiple houses? Where do you live? Do you have multiple cars? Do you have the jewelry that you want, the clothes that you want, the Ferrari, the Lamborghini? Like just dream as if there were no restrictions. And the key I always tell people is dream as if you're four years old again. Remember what it was like to be four years old? There was no limits on this earth in what you could do. Anything was possible when you're four years old. So imagine that you're four years old again. Don't place any self-limiting beliefs or don't hold yourself back in any sort of way. What I want you to do is dream like you're four years old again. Write down every single thing that you could think about as to what it is that you want in your perfect future. Write it all down. If you need to pause me, go ahead and hit the pause button. I promise I'll be here forever waiting for you if you just decide to push play later on down the road. So now that we've got this vision, and once again, the more clear that we can become on the vision, the more clear we can become on the plan to get that vision and accomplish that vision, right? So we're very clear on the vision now of where we wanna be in 10 years. Now what I want you to do is imagine that somebody out there in the world already has everything that you want. They have the house, they have the family, they have the, the happiness, the joy, the peace, the love, the relationships, the cars, the clothes, everything. They have everything that you want. I want you to now focus on that person. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your pen and paper and we're gonna start to write down what that person is like, what they do, what their traits are, how they talk to themselves, everything. So let's say that there's someone out there that has that perfect life and we're gonna start talking about that person. And don't act like it's you, act like it's somebody else because it is somebody else that has that perfect life. So when we're looking at that person that has the perfect life that you want, I want you to ask yourself a lot of questions. What do they do on a daily basis? That person who has the life that you want, what do you think that they do, right? So let's start with, let's go through their entire day. Okay, what time do they wake up? And obviously, when figuring out what time they wake up, what time do they go to bed? What time do they wake up? Do they wake up at four? Do they wake up at five, six, seven? What time does that person who has created the life you want, what time do you think they wake up? What do you think their morning routine looks like? Do you think that they meditate? How often do you think they meditate? Do you think they journal? Do you think they read? What do you think they do with their morning? How do you think that they prep themselves to go out and conquer the world every single day? They've obviously conquered quite a bit already. What do you think got them there? What's their morning routine look like? Okay, when they get done with their morning routine, what do they do? Do they drink a coffee? Do they have a breakfast? What's their breakfast look like? What is the breakfast of the person who's created the dream life that you want look like? Okay, is it eggs, maybe some toast, avocado? It's probably not something like, you know, steak and eggs might be a little bit too heavy for them to go into the day. It's probably not a whole lot of bacon that might be too heavy for them. It's probably not pizza, I would assume. What does their morning routine look like? What does their breakfast look like? And then what does the rest of their day look like? What does their early morning look like? What does their late morning look like? What is their, who are they talking with throughout this time? What does their lunch time look like? Do they take out clients? What is it they do? What is it that they do during lunch time to make their life better? How much time do they spend with their spouse? How much time do they spend with their kids? Where do they live? Where are they traveling to? Do they have their own jet to go on a meeting a few hours away? What does it look like for them? What does their early afternoon look like? Put it all down in details. I want you to get as detailed as you possibly can of what this person looks like. What does their late afternoon look like? What does their evening look like? What does their dinner time look like? Do they drink a glass of wine? Do they not drink any alcohol? What do they do? Did they work out at any point in time throughout that day? What are the people that they surround themselves with like? How do they talk to themselves in their own heads? How do they talk to other people? How do they build people up? How do they relate to every single person around them that doesn't agree with their opinions? What type of person are they? Are they kind? Are they sweet? Are they loving? Are they unconditionally loving with everybody? What's their evening routine look like? What time do they go to bed? Get as detailed as you possibly can. Okay, so now what we know is we're very clear on what it is that you want in your life and where you wanna go. Now we're very clear on the perfect type of person that has that life. So we know what it is that they do. We know we should know everything about them. The more clear that we can get, the better. And we go, okay, so now I know what I want. And now I know who I need to be 
every single day in order to get that life. Because success is not something that you shoot after. Success is a byproduct of who you are and what you do on a daily basis. Let me say that again. Success is not something that you shoot for. Success is something that you get as a byproduct for who you are and what you do on a daily basis. So then what we should be focusing on is who we need to be in order to create the life that we want, not necessarily what we need to do. Because if we're the type of person that can create that, they're automatically going to do the things that need to be done. Make sense? Ah, once again, it's not who you need to be. I'm sorry, it's not what you need to do in order to get the life that you want. It's who you need to be in order to get the life that you want. So now you have the perfect version of who you need to be. And you have your current self. So now what we're going to do is we're going to what I call find the gap from where you currently are right now as a person and who you need to be in order to get that life. And let's bridge the gap. Let's figure out what you're doing right currently and what you're doing wrong currently. And I want you to figure out like, what does that person do? What do they not do? Do they go to bed early and you stay up late? Do they wake up early and you stay, stay in bed late? Do they eat really healthy and you eat like sh Do they work out every single day and you don't work out? Do they talk positively to themselves and have affirmations and meditate and you don't talk positively to yourself and you've never meditated before? Like what is the discrepancy between you and that person? Because we need to identify that so that we can start to become that person and stop doing the things that that person wouldn't do and start doing the things that that person would do. And simply what we do is we act as if. Act as if. Wake up today. Don't even wake up today. Right now, when you turn off this episode, act as if you already are that person. Act as if you're the type of person that already has that success, that holds themselves to that high standard, that does what they say they're going to do, that wakes up at that time, that treats people the way that people should be treated, with kindness and respect, that, uh, that gets rid of toxic people and only surrounds themselves with people who are push themselves and doing something amazing in the world and trying to support each other and people that are motivating each other to be better at all points in time. Because now we've found out who you are and we found out who you need to be. Now what we need to do is we need to step into being that person every single day. Now here's the key. Self-awareness is the, is the most important part of this. Because when you start to notice yourself do something that the perfect version of you wouldn't do, you need to be kind to yourself. Don't be like, oh, you dumbass, I can't believe you did this again. Blah, 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 blah. You gotta have some grace with yourself because it takes, it takes a while to change. You can't just change 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years of programming like that. So when you notice yourself slip into your old patterns that are not the patterns of that perfect version of you in 10 years, what you need to do is you need to go, oh, yep, I messed up. Okay, so if the perfect version of me would not have done what I just did, what would they do? Oh, they would have done this? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And you start making little adjustments, little two millimeter adjustments in all aspects of your life. And instead of being hard on yourself, instead of judging yourself, you just slowly start to make little adjustments, little adjustments. It's as, as if you're, you know, if you've ever gotten a suit tailored or if you've ever gotten a dress tailored, right? When you go into the tailor, they put it on you and then they do the measurements and they try it out and they build it for you. And then you come back and they do the measurements and they try it out and they make a little bit of adjustments. That's kind of how stepping into the new version of yourself is. It's like tailoring yourself to be the perfect version of yourself. And something's gonna fit correctly, something's not gonna fit correctly. You're gonna have to shift and move and all of that stuff. What's beautiful about this now is that this, this 10 year goal that we have for ourselves is actually not the goal. That's not what I'm shooting for now. What I'm shooting for is to be the person that could create that life 10 years from now, because that life is just a byproduct of how that person operates in the world. And so if you wanna create the amazing life that you see in your dreams 10 years down the road from now, you've gotta focus on shifting yourself moment by moment, moment by moment, and asking yourself the question, you know, is what I'm doing right now getting me closer to or further from my goals? If I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I wanna create this amazing life in 10 years, and I'm sitting there on Instagram on the couch for two hours. I ask myself, is what I'm doing right now getting me closer to or further from my goals? Pretty damn sure being on Instagram for two hours is getting me further away from my goals. So I immediately make a shift and I ask myself, what would the perfect version of me do? Right? It's like, if you guys remember those, those WWJD, what would Jesus do? Wristbands from like the, the late 90s, early 2000s, kind of like the same thing. What would the perfect version of me do? What would the perfect version of me do? What would the perfect version of me do? And then what you do is you just start doing what that perfect version of you would be doing. And slowly but surely, you're gonna realize that your life is shifting. You're shifting. 
The reason why your life is shifting is because you're shifting, you're changing, you're making small incremental changes every single day. And over time, those small incremental changes compound to make massive, massive, massive changes in your life. You know, we see people who build these amazing businesses and they're multi-billionaires within 12 months. And we think that that's how life is. No, that's like a small percentage. That's an anomaly. Normal businesses and normal bodies, if you're creating a perfect body and normal mindsets, if you're trying to create the best mindset, all of those things take time to build. It's small incremental changes compounded over years and years and years and years and years. So when you see someone who's a multimillionaire, when you see someone who's super happy or successful or someone's got an amazing relationship, all of those things, you're seeing somebody who didn't get this overnight. You're seeing somebody who put intention into certain parts of their life and worked at it and worked at it and worked at it for years. What would the best version of me be doing in 10 years? That's what I'm gonna do. What would the best version of me be doing in 10 years? And is what I'm doing right now, is it gonna be closer to or further from my goals? I figure out what that perfect version of me would do, and then all I have to do is just do it. And watch, in 10 years, your life will be the life that you just planned out and saw your dreams because you were the person that could create that life. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. I'm going for longevity. I realize that this life thing, although it can be very short, it's also a marathon. And you know what makes running a marathon easier? A good attitude.